Okay, so I'm done being goofy. I have been meaning to do this video for over a month, um, but I've been so busy and with everything going on in the world, it just didn't seem at the right time. Um, this is about the Infinity Gauntlet quilt that I created for my youngest son. And this was a collaboration between me and him. He actually drew the design. This all started because, you know, when you're quilting and you're first getting started, you think, you know what, the easiest thing to do is make them for your family because you're not selling them. So there's no expectation of perfection and perfection, ugh, perfection. And then number two, they can't complain. It was free. Mm. Anyway, so I told him I was going to make a quilt similar to the one I made his brother. I had found a bunch of Marvel fabric and it was real simple design. I just cut them into rectangles. Blake, stop moving. Sorry, dog sent me cut them into rectangles and sewed that together my oldest son loved it but then my youngest was like well can I design it I'm like sure so then one day when I was trying to make him take a break from doing a bunch of gaming he logs into this program that he used for his animation called blender blend it it's some animation program from his animation class he designed it and it looked like this well because it's 3d I was like hmm Someone suggested I make a block quilt out of it, but I wasn't sure how to conceptualize that. And I don't have the EQ8 software. That stuff is $300. I'm not ready for that yet. Um, so then I decided to do kind of seeing if I could piece it together. So I attempted to piece together and I tried to sew it. That didn't go so well. Mm -mm. So then I, was, I looked up applique. So I was like, ooh, let me try applique. So that was the next try <laughs> so then I did all this research and I said okay the way his 3d thing is set up I can't I can't really make that into an applique so I asked him are you okay with me redrawing it and so I drew it I'm not an artist <laughs> so, I don't know how to draw. so I every step of the way I said look is this okay is this okay? Does this look okay? Does this look okay? So he was like, yes. Yeah. So then I, I started and then I got the fabric and I had to order a bunch of fabric. I ordered like a hundred dollars worth of fabric from Marshall Dry Goods. And I really liked it because it was kind of the marbly color. So I figured when I did the stones, it would look like actual stones, right? And so <laughs> then I was like, I can't just put the stones on it. It's going to look like that, um, that meme of the wannabe infinity gauntlet one of them is like a rubbermaid uh cleaning glove <laughs> in terms of it. and the other one i think was like a little debbie cake on top of a glove i didn't want it to look like that so then i used the gray fabric to make the little inlets and then i cut the stones but they were really super small and i spent like a whole day doing this <laughs> but thank goodness the day i decided to start making like cutting i cut the hands so i cut 24 hands I set those aside and then the next day I started cutting the stones and putting them on so the applique that I used was a double side fusible interfacing that I went to the Mount of Mordor the fires of Mordor to get also known as Amazon and so I used that and what you do for those of you who don't know what the hell I'm talking about with applique or double-sided fusible double-sided webbing is that you put the webbing on the fabric and it sticks on one side and then you peel off the other side and you put it on the other fabric that you want to attach it to and then you heat bond it. So you use your iron, you heat bond it down. So I had to get it exactly right. So thank God, thank the Netflix lords that she was out at this point. Because I spent a whole day binging she and sewing these little ass stones to these yellow ass hands. So that's step two, three. It was a step in the process, right? So then, then, <laughs> I'm such a goober. Then I um, started to fuse them to the block. And I made the blocks in the same color as the stones. And my initial idea was to go wide with it. But then I realized he's someone, my son is someone who likes to hide underneath his blanket when he sleeps. So I decided to go long. Because initially I was going to go wide and the colors were going to be in the order that Thanos actually got the stones. So I, I was being all thematic with it, right? Didn't turn out that way. It's Well, actually down the very right side, they're in the order that he got the stones. So got it right a little bit. Anyway, 
but I wanted to test it first. So I, <clears throat> I, took, I had a couple of extra hands and I stuck them on the sewing machine and I tried to, um, I have an applique stitch on my sewing machine. So I tried to use that, but I ran into trouble because the fingers are so close together that the stitches wasn't coming out right. So then I said, okay, we'll just hope, I'm just gonna hope and pray that this fusible fusing will hold it down. So then I fused the glove to the quilt block and I put it together. I started sewing, 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 right? And then I saw one of them, one of the little fingers was curling up. I'm like, no. So then I thought, okay, before I sandwich this together, maybe what I need to do it's hand applique. Y'all, your girl is lazy. Yeah, your girl is lazy. <laughs> and she was tired because this had been like, it took me six weeks to do this goddamn quilt. <laughs> so I tried and then I looked at it. I didn't like how it looked. It took me like an hour to get like around the bottom half and along the side. I'm like, I can't do 24 of these. He's not gonna have this blanket until Christmas. And I'll be damned if I'm working on this blanket at Christmas time because it's already starting to get on my nerves. So I said, you know what? We're just gonna hope this webbing holds. We're just gonna pray that this fusible interfacing holds. So then I sandwiched it together and the back is gray. And then I, I quilted it together and I decided to ho hopefully hold it in place to quilt over some of it like some of the gloves. So instead of stitching in the ditch, I'll quilt it down in straight lines over the gloves. And at one point I might do another crisscross. So, so I was excited and it was done and I was happy. And I was like, I did an applique quilt. It is a twin size quilt. I did it. And I took it into him because every step of the way I was like, is this good? Is this good? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took it into him guys. I was like, so what do you think? He's like, eh, it's okay. Guys, he said it was just okay. Six weeks. Hundred dollars worth of fabric. Hours of my life and he just said it was just okay. I didn't flip. I did weep. I won't I'm I'm a big baby. I cry. <laughs> I cried. I was just like, but you asked me to do this and I followed your pattern. I don't know what I did wrong. And then my older son, who was still here at the time, he fussed at him. He's like, she put a lot of work into that. And how dare you? I was like, don't fuss at him. It's fine. It's whatever. And I just stood in the living room where my son, well, the dining room, I've turned my dining room into a son area. And I just started putting stuff away. I, y'all, it felt like, oh, oh, stab me in the heart. Rip my heart out. <sighs> I know it's the quarantine. I know. I know my extreme reaction has a lot to do with the quarantine. And the fact that aside from going to the grocery store as needed and going for walks, we have been cooped up with each other for months. So I wasn't mad at him. I wasn't even disappointed in him. I'm like, he has the right to feel the way he feels, even though I had asked him every step of the way if he liked the damn thing. But anyway, so later he came out and he apologized. I'm like, it's okay, don't apologize. I was like, but if you didn't like it, I told you every step of the way. Anyway, he likes it. Cause what happened was I left the quilt out here with me. I'm like, fine, this will just be an image of something that I actually achieved and I will just keep it out here and it'll be one of the quilts I'll snuggle under under the couch. A couple hours later he came out and he's like, so can I have it? I'm like, I thought you didn't like it. I was petty. I was so petty. I was petty to my 15 year old and I don't care. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> so yeah, so he likes it. And best news, I just watched it today. And I was like, I took it, I was like, please, the applique held. So this fusible applique does hold under washing. That said, things that I learned, don't be afraid of applique. Fusible webbing can be our friends. It can be stiff though. The double, the double sided fusible webbing can create a stiff quilt block. Um, that said, 
just to be safe under several washings, I could see it starting to peel. So it's probably a good idea to use applique stitches. But then again, if you look at the quilt, the stones, there's no way to really applique those. So applique, applique those. So that was fun. Um, and then I turned around and did another applique quilt of a black woman with an Afro's head for my cousin. And I sent that to her and she loved it. And that one I was able to go around <clears throat> and put an applique stitch on to hold it securely in place. And then to quilt it, I stitched in the ditch. So, so yeah, all of that is to say doing that quilt gave me a boost of confidence. Like, you know what? I can quilt. I can do different things. I can be creative. Does it look professionally made? No. Do I look like a professional? Hell no. I put most of that shit together. No, I did use my new machine for that one. Did I use my new machine? Okay, yeah. Use my new machine for that one, but I'm not a professional quilter. I started doing this in November. So, and if that quilt is technically the fifth one I've made. Let me see. The first one was a really failed Marvel one. The second one was the one I snuggle under that I put the backing on wrong. The third one was the one for Mom Beauty that I sent to her family after she passed away. The fourth one was my son's Marvel quilt. Yes, this is the fifth quilt I've made. So I did a damn good job if I do say so myself. <laughs> but yeah, for people who are wondering, like the first four quilts that I just described, I made on a $69 machine. The bindings aren't perfect. The lines aren't always straight because I have shaky hands when it comes to cutting and I don't have like an accu quilt, but it can be done. Is it tough? Absolutely it's tough, especially when you get to the quilting part because on my oldest son's quilt, I did free motion and that took me a f I sat all day doing that and that took a while, but I did it on that $69 machine. So just go for it. That is the lesson that the infinity gauntlet quilt taught me much like it taught Thanos. Do it yourself. Go for it. I have no intentions of wiping out half the universe, but I do have intentions of making more quilts. So thanks for watching.